In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a project that you've designed in Affinity Designer, add registration marks, and then take it over to uh, StarCraft Create in order to do your print and cut. So here I've got just a very quick you know, little project created here. And I did it on 8.5 by 11. And this is the important thing. Whatever printout size you're going to be using, for example, an 8.5 by 11 sticker sheet or whatever, then make sure you know that's what you've set up here. And then also then when you go to create, you want to have used <clears throat> the also use 8.5 by 11. And you can see that my mat size is set to 8.5 by 11. So they match. It's the first thing that's important. Also, before I forget, go to Edit, Preferences. And then here on this general tab, because you're using Affinity Designer, it also will be exporting as a SVG DPI at 300. So change this to 300 right here. And then, you know, depending if you're using some other program, it'd be it possibly to be a different number. For example, uh, you know, I don't know, let's say, well, like Adobe Illustrator would be using 72. So, but use 300 for Affinity Designer. Okay, now then the reg mark setup. Now this is something that if you're always going to use the same reg mark settings, you only have to do this template file one time and you can just keep reusing it. So go to cutter cutter settings and then it's a good idea to whatever you pick to write these down into your cutter notebook, right? That that's what you're using every time or that's what you use right now on this date. And then if you change it later on for some reason, you can change, you know, you can update it. Um, so what you have, because you don't want them to change. After you print, you don't want these reg mark settings, you know, whatever, you know, you're using over Affinity for the reg marks. You don't want to then come over here and have different reg marks from how those were created. So here I've got one centimeter, one millimeter, and then I'm using mark in set from page bounds. You need to use page or print. I recommend page. Um, and then for the size, I'm using 0.635 centimeters. Now, why am I using that exact number? That's the same thing as a quarter of an inch. And it lets me verify the sizing later on, as you'll see in the video. All right, so click on save. Then to get these reg marks into its own file, we go to the export icon which is right here or file export and then just give it a number and I'm just going to call it reg marks oops I'm going to fix that all right click on save <clears throat> By the way, also, before I, I go any further, notice how I have show print margins and show reg marks both marked here. Always do that. It doesn't have to be turned on in order for the process to work, but it lets you verify that, yes, my print margins look correct and my reg marks look correct. Okay. Then over here, it doesn't matter. I just leave this at 72, but make sure you mark this box, show registration marks, and then click on OK. Now then we come over to back to our uh, design in Affinity Designer and we're going to bring in these reg marks and get them in the right location on the page. And this is where, you know, it's very important or very useful if you have these two match. So I go to File, uh, Place, and then I find that new file, that reg mark file I created, select it, click on Open. And then I just left click on the screen and you see this, you know, box show up. And then over here, I'm going to change the location to zero, zero. And that's basically planting it in that upper left corner. And you can see, you know, because I had my page set up to be the same size in create, the SVG it created was eight and a half by 11. So I know that that's now in the correct location on the page for printing. Now I'm ready to print. So you just go to file print and do all your printing the way you do it with your, you know, with your color profile, you know, for files for your particular printer, etc. Then the next step is to then export this back out to get it back over to um, to create for cutting. Now, one of the things I observed, in fact, that's why it took me a couple of days to figure all this out, you know, little snippets of time, was that these curves, the way I created these curves, they have a stroke width on them. And if I leave that stroke width turned on, Based on my limited knowledge of Affinity Designer, I was unable to figure out how to get those to remain vectors when I brought them over to create. But I did figure out one way to do it. So I'm going to hold the control key and I'm going to select each one of those curves. Okay. And then without disturbing them, in case you don't want to print more of them, I'm just going to go to edit, copy, edit, paste. So I made a copy of them. Okay. Here they are. And then 
that stroke, I'm going to just turn off the width. I bring it all the way down to zero. And when I did that, then when I imported them over into Create, they were actual cut lines and weren't basically raster images that weren't going to cut. So that was quite handy. So I've done that. Now these four are still selected, these new ones, and I'm going to hold down the Control key and I'm going to select my reg mark layer because I need that also. I need the reg marks because it, it's important because you're not going to need them for cutting or anything, but you need it to verify that everything is still in the correct location. Location. The reg marks are still in the correct location, you know, relative to the page. So, with that selected, then I go to File, Export. I make sure SVG is selected. I leave SVG for Export. Don't do anything here. But I come down here where it says Hold Document, and I change that to Selection Only. So that the only thing it's going to export are going to be those four uh, cut lines and then those reg marks. And another reason I'm doing that, you know, I could have exported everything, but when you do that, that just blows up the file size. Anytime you have raster images, which is what, you know, all the, the cat images are, they're rasters, they're going to make this file much bigger. And, you know, some of the people doing stickers, they'll have like, you know, 25 different images on there and their overall file size ends up being like 20 megabytes and then it starts lagging in the software. So, but if you only stick with vector cut lines, which is what the reg marks are, and now then these these four curves that you know I'd set the stroke to zero then the file stays very small and you don't have to worry about lagging okay then you click on export and then I'm going to put it on my desktop also and I'll just leave it hearts and cats all right so click on save then I'm ready to come back to create okay and I have my reg marks here and again I have not changed my reg mark settings so when I import my file it should match up so let's come over here and I'm going to go to import and I come to hearts and cats click on open now before we click away all of this is currently selected so while it's still selected come over to your position size panel I'm going to pop it out here and it should still be marked to page. That's the default typically, but if it's set to selection, change it to page, and then just center it using this button and this button. Use those two icons. It's gonna center it on the page. Now you'll notice I can't see the hearts, but that's just because the stroke got set to zero, okay? So in order to see them, then I come over here to my fill and stroke panel, and I'm just gonna give them a stroke color. Color, and then let's change this to say, I don't know, let's say blue. And when I did that, it actually also made my uh, my reg marks, gave those a stroke color. In fact, I'll give it a little bit of a width just so I can see them a little bit better. Then with those reg marks showing, I can come over to the, the layers panel. Now, pop that one out. <clears throat> and on the layers panel, I can hide this reg mark. See the top layers reg marks? If I hide it, see those are my original, that's the, the program, that's what Create wants to use for the reg marks. So I can verify that they all ended up right on top of the original ones. If they did, if they don't line up, then you know you've got a problem. Or if your file imported and it's like really huge. That's the other thing I can do is I can select it and I can verify that just that file you know, without extending all the way out, it see it's at 8 and 10 and a half. And that's where that, remember I set that, the distance to 0.635 centimeters or what was a quarter of an inch from the page edges and that's how then I can you know take off quarter of an inch quarter of an inch half an inch and I can tell based on the size of that import with reg marks I can tell if you know if it's all size still the correct way anyway hope that makes sense all right, so basically that's it. From this point, then you can hide this reg mark layer because you don't need it. Otherwise, it'll try to cut those, right? So you don't need that anymore. So you can either delete it or hide it, and then you're ready to go ahead and proceed. You know, with putting your printout, putting it on the mat, and of course, you know, down here you put you set the blade tip over the lower right corner, and then you're ready to go with your print and cut. And I tested this out, in fact, with this exact same file, and it worked perfectly. So if you have any questions, always reach out and get some help, and we'll figure out what's going on.